welcome to Vinnie Bourne Demonstrations. Today we're going to apply some fluorescent paint and we're going to do it by spray gun. We have done a previous video on brushing it on, so if, if brushing it on is what you want to do, please go and have a look at that one. Okay, so today we're going to use a piece of MDF just as a substrate for putting our fluorescent paint onto it. In your case, you may want to paint steel, wood, plastic, uh, masonry, it, it doesn't really matter. The most important thing is you use the correct primer or ground coat for the substrate you're painting. It must be suitable for that substrate. And then this fluorescent paint will go over that primer. Okay. So I'm going to mix up now the white ground coat for our substrate, which is MDF in this case, and I'm using um, chlorinated rubber as the ground coat, as the, as the white background. I'm going to also be using the fast paint preparation system. We have done a separate video on that, on setting that up, if you want to go and have a look at that. I've now got to thin this ground coat out so it'll go through the spray gun efficiently. So I have my ground coat onto the, uh, the MDF, so uh, it's totally dry. As a matter of, sometimes I've just given it a little bit of a flick down with sandpaper if it's rough. In this case, it's lovely and smooth. So now what I can do is I can move on to the next process of applying the fluorescent paint. Fluorescent paint. Again, we're, we're using the FPP, the Fast Paint Preparation System. I'm going to pop a liner into the cup and with this particular uh, fluorescent paint I'm going to thin it out by about 10 to 15 percent with acrylic thinners. Because of the small panel that I'm doing I, I don't need very much of it. And it's only going to be a very small amount of, of solvent thinners I'm putting into it. Okay, we've now finished. We've applied one full coat of the fluorescent uh, yellow in this case, and then I let that dry for four hours, and then I overcoated it with a 2K acrylic top coat, piece of glass is what we call it. So it's a two component lacquer, which we put over it, which will give it long protection. You don't have to do that, but by lacquering over it, it you're gonna make it more durable, and it's gonna last an awful lot longer. It's also worth mentioning that with all fluorescent paints, they're not color fast, so you don't get a great longevity out of them outdoors in, in natural daylight.
If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnieborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnieborn.com.